a pleasure. Media, man. I appreciate y'all having me, man. Salute, salute, salute. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Tell these niggas. What up, bro? BA for real 100. Get your bars up, media. Salute, salute, salute. Ah. So, we back up in this thing. And I know I'm not with my normal setup. But it's something that I haven't done in a while, right? Something that I have not done in a while is actually do a prediction blog. A good old solo prediction blog. And I know it's been a lot going on with Battle Rap. <laughs> Some stuff that's been uh, very, very frustrating. But getting back to the actual fan, wet behind the ears, like I don't know what's happening behind the scenes, even though I do, unfortunately. Um, I'm still a fan at the end of the day. You dig? And um, there is a big card coming up tomorrow. Uh, URL homecoming. Definitely, definitely. I'm hoping that uh, I'm hoping that it's gonna be. I'm hoping it's. I'm hoping it's gonna be dope. That's what I'm gonna say. And I'm trying not to. I'm trying not to be super. Uh, what's the word? What's the word for it? <laughs> um, 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 pessimistic. I'm trying not to be pessimistic. If you, hey, I know this is battle rap. A lot of people probably don't even know what pessimism is. But uh, you got a dictionary, though. But anyways, get your bars up. Get your bars up. Learn something. I'm sorry. Learn something. But anyways, uh, this um, this this uh, this URL homecoming event. Um, optimistically speaking, I, I'm hoping that it's dope. I'm hoping that I, I'm hoping that it's some fire. Even if it is just uh, battlers uh, rehearsing with each other, I'm hoping. I'm hoping nobody snitches on each other. But anyways, I'm talking too much in regards to. See, this is what I'm talking about. When the culture is all fucked up and you try to focus on bars and all of this and 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 yeah, this is a grudge match. It's crazy. You find out that it's not that it's all staged and rehearsed. It makes you feel a certain type of way. But that's not what y'all here for. Y'all here for predictions. So, I digress. <laughs> oh man, nigga, you know people been like, "Ba, ba, man." I know you've been gone for a while. You just now coming back and you talking, but you just you came back and it's like you don't give a fuck anymore. I care about the culture. That's why I get so frustrated. Because I'm passionate about it. But anyways. URL Homecoming. Back in New York. Yeah, back in New York. And um, Irvin Plaza to be exact. Haven't been, I don't know when the last time URL even had a um, had an event there. It's probably been what? Four, four or five years or so. But um, the very first battle that we'll talk about today is Kid Slade versus Stumbles. This battle is going to be pretty interesting. This is going to be an interesting battle. Uh, we got two new artists. Stumbles had his breakout in the tournament. Um, we know Stumbles in the culture for um, jumping a guy, taking his belt, then winning. I mean, uh, then and then uh, passing his belt around, taking selfies with the belt, then actually going to. <laughs> then actually battling the guy for the guy to get his belt back, even though the guy, Snake Eyes, it was his belt. But then after he beats the guy with the belt, and I know I'm confusing the fuck out of y'all, but after he beats the guy, he decides to try to give the belt back, but the guy doesn't want the belt back. I don't know, but st salute the Stumbles, but that Stumbles. Then you got Kid Slade, who kind of made a name for himself uh, in a tournament as well. He got that uh, He got that drug talk, yeah, that plug talk, should I say. Sorry, plug talk. Uh, he be talking this ish too. This battle's gonna be pretty interesting and pretty dope. Um, if I had to pick somebody, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Kid Slade two one because I feel like Stumbles is gonna live up to his name and he's probably gonna stumble in one or two rounds. Uh, he had one the the his best battle to date was um was actually the uh the Tupac the Fu two you feel me versus Snake Eyes best battle to date that I've seen and uh, that. He had a battle versus Shotgun Shook after that that I seen, but he was stumbling and mumbling. Like Harlem Hospital was definitely giving beds out. Definitely giving beds out. Uh, so if I had to pick somebody, definitely going Kid Slade. Kid Slade, uh, last couple performances was nice. Um, I just feel like he's going to be cleaner. And I feel like the difference, because both of them could rap, but the difference is going to be preparation. And if I had to bet my money on somebody, it's probably going to be Kid Slade, because at least even if his bars are not going to be super crazy, he's going to be prepared. Stumble got that real authentic as well. Got the, he be talking that talk, but he just be stumbling. He lives up to his name. Don't live up to your name, Stumbles. Be better. Do better, sir. 
Uh, so I got Kid Slade two one. Uh, next battle uh, would be uh, who is it? Uh, next battle is K Shine versus uh, Jack Boy Main. I don't even know if this battle is happening. I know it's a whole cloud around the URL and it's a whole cloud around uh, K Shine right now. Oh, this is my last battle in the URL. I'm driving. If y'all don't see me in the battle, he said this Friday. If y'all don't see me in the battle tomorrow and the next day was today, which is Saturday. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how that goes because you still got an extra day to actually get to where. And you got an extra, you got an extra hour too to get to <laughs> New York. That's where you're from. I know you're in Atlanta, I believe. But yeah, you know you can get, you still get there. Still get there, K-Shine. But if this battle does happen, and this uh, happens to be his last battle, uh, there's no way. There's no way I'm going against K-Shine. Shout out to Jack Boy. Jack Boy, salute to you, sir. Um, cool dude. Cool dude. K-Shine's a good guy, too. But, um, man, I would go K-Shine 2-Zip. I'm going K-Shine 2-Zip. Jack Boy, the last couple K-Shines that I've seen have been fire. The last couple Jack Boys have been solid. They've been solid, but K Shine, I, I just can't go against him. I think he's gonna go out with a big bang. Because what we know where he's about to go after he leaves the URL. We definitely know that. You feel me? And and I'm not gonna say any names because it's a URL blog. It's not an RBE blog. Oh, did I just snitch? Did I just snitch? Like you battle rappers keep doing. No! Stop and get your bars up. <laughs> I do care, y'all. I do care. I love the culture, y'all. I do. I know I'm... Anyways. Um, hey, I got Kayshawn 2-1. I got Kayshawn 2-1. I think Jack Boy can muster out uh, one good round. And uh, I think Kayshawn can be consistent all three rounds. Um, I just hope the lights are not too bright for Jack Boy because we know what happens when, the, uh, when there's thousands of people uh, in a crowd and he's on that stage. Sometimes he just doesn't... I mean, it's hard. It's, it, sometimes it just doesn't translate. And K Shine, I've seen him airball, but I've seen him hit a lot of shots too. So I'm I'm definitely going K Shine, uh, two one, two one, definitely. Uh, next up we have Arsenal versus Swamp, and I'm doing this all by mind, y'all, because it's only five battles. Arsenal versus Swamp. Um, hmm. Arsenal, legendary, arguably Mount Rushmore, one of the greatest to ever do this. Uh, Swamp, up and comer, phenomenal job. He, uh, he's had a phenomenal run. Uh, he he really his coming out party pretty much really where he turned that corner was his last tournament, and then on top of that he had Tay Rock, which is arguably the greatest of all time when it comes to URL uh, and battle rap history. One of the greatest, the People's Champ. He actually beat him two one, beat him two one. Dope battle, Arsenal. Last couple of showings have been all right, but he's still a GOAT. Very disrespectful, but will disrespectful work versus Swamp? Because Swamp can shake off that disrespect. Because you need bars versus somebody to talk about Swamp. I mean, to go against Swamp, you need bars. And Arsenal has it, but he's more disrespect with his bars. Ah, Arsenal's probably supposed to win this because he's going to be used to that big stage. But, man, I'm going to have to go Swamp. I'm going to go Swamp 2-1. This will be my upset. Arsenal's supposed to win this battle, but I feel like Swamp has the tools. To, to the, the tools. The only thing that will hurt Swamp severely in this battle is if he's not prepared, which that has shown, but lately he's been on fire. You know, he's been on fire, like like Muy, Fu uh, uh, Muy Fuego. Muy Fuego. Arsenal has been cool, even though he's had a great career. And he's a legend. But, yeah, I'm going to go Swamp. I'm going to go Swamp 2-1. Arsenal, don't kill me. Don't kill me, Arsenal. Both of these guys are friends of the, uh, of the platform. But, yeah, I, got, I still got to keep it 100. Still my idea. But, anyways, um, next up we have the ladies. And this is this this might be Battle of the Night. This just might be Battle of the Night. Uh, we have Jazz the Rapper versus um, Vixen the Assassin. Oh, my gosh. Two beautiful sisters going getting up on that stage talking crazy to each other. Mm. Uh, they're gonna be in New York. It's gonna be 1,500, 2,000 people supposedly. Um, this is gonna be a good battle. This is gonna be a good battle. If I had to choose, see, Jazz has been on fire this year. 
Jazz usually doesn't rap as much as she's been rapping this year. I like what she did against Geechee. I like what she did against Gaddis. Both of her two-on-twos that she had was pretty good, too. Um, Vixen, though, Vixen. I've seen her. Like, Vixen is beating up. Vixen beating up niggas, too. Vixen beating up niggas on stage, too. And even if she's losing, possibly, she's still fighting them. Like, she's still scratching up faces. Like, like man. Whew. If I had to go somebody, I'm going to go Vixen. Jazz, don't kill me. Don't kill me, Jazz, but I'm going Vixen. I'm going to go Vixen 2-1. I think Vixen, I think Vixen's going to talk to, I think she's going to tower over Jazz. I think she's going to get physical with Jazz. I don't remember when the last time somebody really got physical with Jazz. I don't remember. I think she's going to probably bump her. She's going to be in her face barking, towering over. Yeah, Vixen, I got Vixen. I got Vixen. Jazz, fool me wrong. I know you can rap, Jazz. You're one of the greatest. You, you're Mount Rushmore. Not arguably, you are Mount Rushmore of the ladies. Done a lot. But there's a newcomer. It's been on fire too, you know? And I know the thing that's scary is I've been seeing Jazz has been so calm. And when you see Jazz extremely calm, that means that she got some shit. That means that she wrote down some shit. But like I said, I got Vixen 2-1. Jazz, don't fight me. Don't fight me, Jazz. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Queen. I'm sorry, Queen. I still love you. I still love you. You still, hey, you still one of the greatest. <laughs> uh, last but not least, the main event. Geechee Gotti versus Murder Mook. This is this is the battle what I really, really want to see. Because I keep telling niggas, if Geechee come up in here and he beat Mook, and he beat Mook clearly, and it's a 30 or a 2-1 clear, I'm going to call He's going to be the king of New York. Y'all remember Snoop Dogg stepping over the towers? Knocking down the towers, kicking them over and everything. That's going to be Geechee. Put Geechee face on that. So it's a lot at stake to me for this battle. You got the king of the, you got the king and one of the gods of East Coast versus one of the gods and kings of the West Coast. I think this is going to be like, I know people are talking about Mook. His last battle was horrible, by the way. It was horrible. I didn't like it. I didn't like his last battle. It was, hey, Mook, it was horrible. But uh, I know Reed, it was Reed Dallas, one of the worst battles that I've ever seen in my life on a big stage, and I was in the building for that. One of the worst I've ever seen. But I've seen Mook. Like, Mook is one of those, like, like he's done so much for the culture. And you look at what he did, especially versus Tay Rock, which is historic to me and which is still being talked about today. Incredible. So he still has that gene and he still has that gear. Geechee. Geechee is the face of all of battle rap right now. It's been a face of battle rap for the last couple of years. Been putting it down. I know a lot of his battles are on the West Coast, but he's been traveling to other cities killing shit too. And if Geechee can pull off beating Loaded Lux... Like he did, and then he tra he, tra he beats Gichi Gotti just as clear as he did Lux. It's gonna be ooh. <laughs> Gichi might be hey. You talk about one of the goats for real, for real. Y'all gonna have to put some respect on his name. But with that being said, if I had to pick somebody, I'm going to go. Man, I gotta go with the logo. I gotta go with the logo. Geechee, I gotta go with the logo. I know it's all. I know Wiz. Wiz. Shout out to my, my brethren, Bumpy Bars. But I know what it is. But I gotta go Mook, man. Mook is gonna be in New York. He's gonna have a crowd. And I have a feeling that he's gonna probably do something that he hasn't done in a while. Hint, hint, hint. <laughs> he's probably gonna do something he hasn't done in a while. That he's gonna bring him back. That's gonna be nostalgic. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Geechee's ready for that. But I got Mook 2-1. I got Mook 2-1. I feel like Gotti has the tools to win this battle, but I feel like Mook does too. And I feel like this is Geechee Gotti's first time being in a, on a big stage in front of a New York crowd. Hopefully, Geechee, Geechee, if you pull a Tay Rock and start talking about how New York smells, they got the biggest rats in the world, you talking down, on, you're going to get booed, sir. So hopefully you don't rap like that. Because if you do, that means that you're just going to be giving Mook this battle. 
You're just going to be giving them this battle in the building, of course, in the building. But um, this could be a 2-1 either way. Uh, but I'm going to go with the logo, Mook. So, hey, may the best man win. And hopefully y'all niggas not rehearsing with each other. But anyways, <laughs> this blog has been super long. I didn't know this prediction blog was going to be 15 minutes for real. But anyways. This your guy, BA for Real 100. This is Get Your Bars Up Media. If this is your first time here, click that subscribe button. You rock with me, I rock with you. And if you out there hating, just because you think I'm a new guy and you just not starting to put my page and I've been doing this for a minute, <laughs> then all I can truly say is thank you for coming and get your bars up. Salute, subscribe, all that good stuff. Y'all tell me who y'all got winning these battles in that comment section. And please do not hate. Please hit that like button. Please share. Please do all of that. If you don't, I'm still going to talk my shit because we still back up in this thing. <laughs> and if you don't got your mother bars up, you can go ahead and take this L with you. Salute. Peace and love, y'all.